if 120 people are visiting this stand and if this stand only works for four hours and if people are waiting there for six minutes on average, Little's Law does not talk about instantaneous changes in things. Throughput may go up and down. Inventory may go up and down. And that is the case in reality. There are a lot of variability over there, which we need other techniques to study them in a minute by minute or hour by hour or day by day basis. Little's law only talks about averages. It says on average 120 people per day, which is four hours, visit this stand, right? So if 120 people over four hours visit this stand, that would be 30 per hour. That is throughput. Throughput also carries a time component with it. How many per what time period? 100 20 per 4 hours, or 30 per hour, or 0.5 per minute. All these numbers are correct. Inventory, we don't have it. We are looking for inventory. Flow time is 6 minutes. And we know that Flow time is multiplied by throughput. And therefore, they must be in the same time unit. As long as I am using six minutes, I cannot use 120 per day. And I cannot use 60 per hour. Unless I transform six minutes into hours. Therefore, the easier way is to just Multiply it by this throughput per minute, which is 0.5. Multiply by 6. 0.5 per minute, 6 minutes. Multiply by each other's. Three customers on average are waiting there. Correct? Now she expects, due to a marketing campaign, to have more demand and demand she expect to go from 120 per day or 30 per hour because a day was four hours she expect from 30 per hour it goes to 60 per hour from 0.5 per minute it will go to one per minute our throughput now is 240 per Four hours or one per minute. That is throughput R is equal to one per minute. On average, two people are waiting. I is equal to two. Therefore, one times T is equal to I and therefore T is equal to two. On average, two people are waiting over there. One customer per minute, average two people are waiting, apply the Lidl's law, a customer stays over there for two minutes. So the marketing campaign goes even better. Instead of 240, she observes 360 customers per day. And because a day is four hours, 360, divided by 4 is 90 per hour. If I divide it by 60, that would be 1.5 per minute. That is throughput. Now she has a sequential operations. First step and second step. Now we have two people waiting in the first station and one person in the second station. A total of three people are waiting in the line. 
Little's law applies everywhere. It, as soon as we draw a boundary around our system and find it out what is coming in and what is going out and find it out how much inventory is inside there, then we are done. 1.5 per minute, three in the line, that is I, and that is R. And we can again apply the Lidl's law. And therefore two minutes, right? What about this part? We go back to the previous situation, right? which was 120 per four hours, or 30 per hour, 0.5 per minute. A competition also comes in, and some of this demand is taken by, by a competitor. We know that the demand is what it was. We have no new demand. But in our competitor place, people stay a quarter of an hour, 15 minutes, and usually there are three people in the line. If I have these two numbers, how many people are in the line, and how long do they stay in the line, I can compute the throughput or demand for the other entity. Flow time is 0.25 hour, correct? I can do hour or I can do minute. That is flow time. T times R is equal to I, correct? And I is three. Therefore, R is equal to 3 divided by 0.25 per hour. And if I do the computation, that would be 12 per hour. Therefore, 12 per hour are taken from the other business. The other business had 30 per hour. 12 of it is gone. Now they have uh, 18 per hour. And in four hours, we have taken 12 times 4, which is 48 customers. The new competition has got 48 customers from the old store. And if the old store was making, say, $2.5 out of each of them, we have lost $30 per hour and $120 per day. The old business has lost $120 per day if... per day, and that's it. This is the last question. How many people are waiting in the line of the old business under new circumstances? What is the throughput of the old system now? It was 30 per hour, 12 per hour was gone, 18 per hour, or 18 divided by 60 per minute, multiplied by six minutes, on average, 1.8 people are waiting in the line.